Erica, you are back again for We Will Rock You. You've been in this show before. Tell me what's different about this time around. Um, well, for me, uh, I'm playing a different character. So uh, I was formerly, I'm the artist formerly known as Scaramouche. And uh, now I get to play Oz, who is the leader of the rock and roll rebels. And she's completely different in every way. She's blonde instead of black haired or purple haired. And, uh, and she's physically, she's tough, she's rock and roll. And so it was a great challenge for me to come into a show that I knew so well um, into a new, with a new character, with a whole new set of challenges. And as far as the musical goes, um, there are the, one of the great things about working with Ben and the guys in, Ben Alton, sorry, and the guys in Queen is that they are constantly tweaking and updating the script. And so they came in and completely overhauled all of our pop culture references and jokes and our social media references and um, really just made it, just tailored it for right now. And uh, all the things you knew and loved about We Will Rock You are there and we've added some amazing new treats for people who saw it in Toronto. And so there are pop culture references and I think references to social media what are some of these references that people are gonna is there a Miley Cyrus reference we may or may not have a twerking reference I was gonna say that's that's everyone's sort of first question and you know it's one of those things where if your mind automatically goes there that's something we have to touch on that's that's a great opportunity um, and so yeah we have we have all the all of the most recent um, pop culture happenings um, and you know we're, we're consistently changing we're consistently getting emails from Ben saying you know do you think this warrants maybe a little gag here or there and uh, and that's one of the greatest things about this show is that even though it was written 11 years ago it's almost it's it's new almost every single time you see it that's great yeah and working with Ben Elton and the guys from Queen I mean you're physically working with them talking with them so what was it like to first meet them well, I mean, I first met them actually on this very staircase here at the Cannon Theatre when I had just turned 20 years old, the day after I left school to join the company We Will Rock You. And um, that was terrifying. And so this time it was it was strange because it was so familiar, even though there are, they are these incredibly respected, un, like world, universally known um, artists, it was familiar and it was sort of like coming home and they have sort of watched me grow up in a way as a professional and so it was wonderful to see them again as people and uh, and exciting to work with them again as rock stars because that's so cool it's definitely <laughs> yeah. cool. It's amazing. And I mean the songs as well, rock star songs, classic songs, 24 hit songs in this show. Uh, do you have a favorite? Well, um, there's two. I mean, I, getting to sing No One But You every night as Oz now, um, it's a song, it's the only um, not non-single that's in the show. Um, and it was written by Brian May for Freddie Mercury after he passed away. And that's a huge honor to be able to deliver a song like that every night. At its core, this show is about rock and roll and remembering the people who made it great. And Freddie Mercury was obviously one of those people. And uh, But I gotta say, we call it Bo Rap for short, but getting to perform Bohemian Rhapsody, especially in my hometown of Toronto, is there's just no feeling like it. There's no feeling like it unless you're in the audience joining in with us. That's awesome. And is there a new song too? There is. Um, you're My Best Friend was originally not in the Canadian production, but in America, um, this is currently the U.S. national mm -hmm. tour with a few awesome Canadian stops. Um, and in America, You're My Best Friend was one of their biggest hits. So um, when this show was being rehearsed uh, for the U.S., they decided to put in You're My Best Friend again. And uh, it's a wonderful moment because this show is such a rock and roll spectacle. The colors, the the jokes and the music are so loud and so bright that sometimes you have these beautiful little moments of peace and of serenity and that's one of them and it really just encompasses how broad Queen's scope as a, as a musical act was. That's great. And, and which audience is rock harder, Canadian or American? I don't think that's a real question. <laughs> it's got to be Canada. I mean, we have, I have to say, there's seven Canadian cast members um, and we have been talking up the Toronto audience and, the, and Toronto as a city for the whole tour um, because really there's there's nothing like a good Canadian audience that's here to have fun and we were so grateful to have those audiences for two and a half years with the original production that I can't wait to show my American friends just how hard we can rock.